far as what we have seen ZMAX accomplish for us on this operation, um, like I said earlier, uh, 2017 we identified a zinc deficiency. The solution to that from the former farmer here was just to remove the tree as the deficiency began to be increased to the point of near death. Often, as you know, you put a new tree in and about three years later, the same thing happens. So certainly not a solution. So we started to use Z-Max um, both in the soil and foliarly and saw the eight week response and turnaround from deficiency and shoot death to new shoot growth of 16 inches, in the same terminal, eight weeks after we began applying Z-Max. So that was probably a three gallon per acre application till it was all done, but it reversed the deficiency. So we have gotten on to currently just using a maintenance program and we've reduced our rates because of its efficacy. Uh, the reason we chose ZMAX was simply because of its availability to the plant and its quick availability to the plant. So if you flatten the soil, the roots are able to uptake it very quickly, or if you foliar feed it, the new tissue uptakes Z-Max very quickly. Yeah, so Z-Max, I believe, outperforms other zincs simply because of its availability to the plant. But also, it is not an EDTA zinc, which most people in the cotton industry would say, you must use EDTA zinc. So we've found that to work as well, if not better, than other EDTA zincs um, by using it both in the soil or on the plant. That's one thing that's unique about Z-Max, it does work in the soil, it does work on the plant.